Welcome to the Alewife Podcast, where we swim upstream to give you the latest Exeter area news. Uh, first, we'd like to talk about our national days and weeks that we're celebrating. And the second week of June is National Little League Week. So good luck on the playing field, Exeter Junior Baseball Softball League, the Reds, Marlins, Cubs, and Brewers. You got this. June 1st was National Say Something Nice Day. And while we may be a few days behind, we believe some house points are in order for the outstanding work our crew has been doing. Um, Exeter TV's new logo was designed by Natasha Stoppel, and there are three alewives to represent the three channels here in Exeter. Um, we also released a reel that was edited by our talented videographer, Justine Follinsby. She did an excellent job showing off all of our shows and several amazing events you can only find in Exeter. Thanks, Justine! We moved into our third week of the Exeter Weekly Report, a show helmed by um, myself and David Pryor. Uh, this show is a short news style segment which will keep you up to date with the weekly happenings in Exeter and also gives you a weekend forecast. The Exeter Historical Society released a history minute on the town seal, so now you can know a little more about bandstands, alewives, all that stuff. Now you can understand it. Um, uh, also with the Historical Society, we've released another Films from the Archives, where you can see how Memorial Day was celebrated in Exeter in 1940. Outside and In with the Cook's Cook has a new episode. You can check out From Garden to Growler on our YouTube channel. I'm very excited to announce that in July we'll be filming a new Exeter Oddity Showcase with the Kenny Brothers Band. Um, so you'll probably see the episode mid to late July, but I'm excited already, so you should be excited already. <laughs> Um, we've also posted several new episodes of Water Street Bookstore and We the People to our YouTube, so definitely check those out. And now we're looking for submissions um, for our upcoming show, From Script to Screen. Um, From Script to Screen offers residents the opportunity to have their original scri scripts filmed, edited, and broadcasted on our channel. So, worth getting out there. We'll even help you figure out how to screenwrite if you don't know how to do that. All right, um, this month we had a couple of great events, including the Alewife Festival, which was a film festival of various environmental documentaries, including one about the removal of Exeter's dam. We also attended and filmed at the Memorial Day Parade, uh, which was another, another great event. Uh, you can see our video on it on our channel. Definitely worth checking out. And now, upcoming events. Team First Friday started up again this past Friday, June 1st, with a bandstand live concert from Elijah Clark. If you missed June's First Friday or you want to re-experience it, we have released a video of the event on our YouTube. If you want to plan ahead, you can catch Groove Lounge rocking teams next First Friday on July 6th, Bitter Pill on August 3rd, or Cold Engines on September 7th. The Farmer's Market is back on Swayze Park every Thursday from 2 from 2.15 to 6 p.m. until October 25th. Lots of opportunity to get some fresh local produce. Nice. <laughs> SAU 16's Channel 13 will be presenting this year's graduation ceremony live for those unable to attend at the high school so that they can also share in the experience. Tune in to watch it live Friday, June 15th at 5.30 p.m. Don't have cable? Don't live in Exeter? Watch it wherever you are by going to townhallstreams.com slash town slash ExeterNH. This is Sister Station Recommendation, where the host recommends a show from another access station in the community. Um, we're going down to Massachusetts this time to uh, Fall Rivers Station and uh, a really cool lecture series from Fall Rivers Historical Society. Um, the director, Bob Kitchen, delivers a presentation on amusement parks in Fall River and the surrounding New England area during the late 19th and 20th centuries. Uh, this is definitely one you want to check out because it's sort of a historic fact mingling with reminiscence because the, he also experienced some of these parks and many of the audience members have stories to tell about these parks. So you can find that on frmedia.org. Send any of your comments and questions to extvg at exeternh.gov. Uh, any specific questions about this podcast, you can send to hdonnell at exeternh.gov. You can follow this podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, and TuneIn. We'd even appreciate a review and a rating. 
Uh, you can also find the podcast on Facebook and YouTube in video form.